Welcome to Vegas Live with Ninon. Thank you for tuning in and enjoy the show. Welcome back to Vegas Live with Ninon. I'm Ninon, your host. You know, I've never known weeks fly by so fast. I cannot believe that we've already had July 4th and we're kind of, we're, we're, first week of July has kind of gone. And I was waiting for June 19th, which was my birthday. And well, that's come and gone. And I had a great time, by the way. I have Jere Reed with me. Um, actually, when I um, introduce these people, I really don't know what any of them do. I believe he's a singer. And I believe he's a very, very well-known singer in Vegas. So the word goes around. You're quite a celebrity there. <laughs> and then we have K Rock and Roll. Am I saying it right? K, K Rock and Roll Brown. <laughs> K Rock and Roll Brown. That's, is that your full name, or do you just added no, something in the middle? I of just there? added something. You added to make it a little bit more complicated yeah, for people like more. me to introduce them. Right. <laughs> yes. It is neat. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, Jure, you are a singer, and uh, what exactly do you do? Well, the singing would only be in the shower. I'm not, well, not a singer. Publicly. See, look, I got it wrong. <laughs> it's not the first time, but it will be the last. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I'm an, I'm an actor. Uh, I'm actually would star with uh, K. Rock and Roll Brown here in her film, The Junkie Warrior. Yes. So you wrong. have a you're a producer then? Yes, a writer, model, actor, and producer. producer. Yes. So, you know, you don't think because you look very young. <laughs> Thank so you. So you don't think of, of young people being producers. You always think they're older people, and they, you know, it's because of the knowledge and everything. That's not true, is it? No, ma'am. Not no, at all. Not one bit. Everyone can share a story, no matter how. Old. Yeah, I've got a pretty good story. Actually, I'm writing a book, and oh. uh, I'm writing my book, my biography, and uh, the book is the, the the video is one thing, and the book's going to be something else, but the film's going to be really daring. Yes. <laughs> Gotta put some stuff in the in the film to make it so. <laughs> I better be quite interesting. You have like a very interesting personality. Um, I hope so. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I've lived. A, a, I haven't regretted my life, but I've regretted a couple of things. You know, we all do. Right. Wish we got out with this one, and wish we'd really been friendly with this one, and you know, and really taken that job. You know, instead of that job. You know, it happens Absolutely. all the time. So, how is the acting going on? in Vegas because what I've seen, I've been here since twenty twelve and I've seen it sort of rise and rise and rise. How's it going for you? You know, it's it's busy, not just for my speaking for myself, but for everybody. Uh yeah. it's a really tight knit community here in Vegas. Uh, everybody's there's a lot of productions coming to town. Um, yeah. even more so than, than it was uh pre pandemic. Uh post pandemic it's it's just firing up. But I think because California or Los Angeles or thereabouts, Valley, wherever it is, they seem to have had rather a lockdown, closed down, and sort of, I think everybody's sort of un unfortunate for Los Angeles and that, that they've come to Vegas because they've been a little bit more lenient in the last month or so, though they weren't before, but they have become quite lenient. And a lot of them are coming here for work because they seem to be getting it. And I've never understood why the film industry has never been bigger in Vegas because you've got every scene you want, right? right? Exactly. You've got all the scenes, you've got everything you want, you know, out there. So what is your aim? Where, where are you aiming for? What are you, what are you, what are you up to? <laughs> <laughs> He's been a little quiet here, so what well, are you up to? Well, I'm definitely aiming to the top uh, and I'm not going to stop until I get there. But uh, for me, I, I like to go well, well diversified as far as any of the roles that I pick. Uh, very strategically in my picks, but uh, I'm stuff that I can relate to, uh, challenging, yeah. um, and good stories, good characters. Mm -hmm. So what do you see yourself, you know, I often wonder what does somebody see themselves as an actor? You know, what, what, are, what are the, how do they see themselves play what part, or, or why that part? So what part do you see? I mean, you'd be a great cop, for one thing, <laughs> but, but who wants to be a cop? You know, is, is there ever, ever a cop that's a real leading part in a movie? Usually it's, you know, could be second or whatever. So what do you see yourself? On what roles do you really want to go after? I, you know, I think that's just the, the beauty of our art is that you know it's always a blank canvas and there's always something to to paint that's new. So yeah. I can't ever really say, oh, I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that. It's because I want to do these things or I want to do those. But yes. a lot of the times the roles choose you, and you know that's the beauty of going through the process and and being an artist as an actor. You know, creating that that palette, the background story, the character itself, and, and yeah. all of that. And then also if you play different characters, you can actually, you know, when you start playing different characters, you can actually go for those those parts as well as, as, as time goes on. How do you find, being a producer, and you see these actors and actresses come in, 
and how you see them change for their character. You, you, you actually, you get them as your talent, you get them as whatever part they're going to play. Mm -hmm. How do you see, do you see them change a lot to, to get into the character? Um, yes, some, some instantly have it, I can just tell. Some are really serious about what they do. Um, some really just, I would say merge into character because that's what you have to do. Um, yeah. As an actor myself and as a producer, I like actors that, like for Jure, like I don't want Jure, you know, like I like Jure, but I don't want him. I want. Well, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> what other nice you things? You know what, what I, I mean. <laughs> Wait, we all know what you mean. We're just going right. to tease you. We're going right. to tease you right to the bottom now on that one. I don't really like him, but I'll choose him. But yes, but he really knew how to get into the character that I wrote and that yes. I envisioned, and that's the very most important thing. I have and to did do. he give that to you on the audition? He did. He did, and each and every day that he was on set. He even so, got better and better into the into the art. Yes, better and better. And then I feel like the more um, you really understand the story and you really understand how your character feels, thinks, everything, you know, you really just be that character, I think you can really just really perform and shine the way you're supposed Are to. Are the actors, and would you allow an actor to come and talk to you and, and ask you, what exactly do you want me and how do you want me to be this character? Or do you want them to decide that yourself? Of what you've written and how you presented it. That you is a that? wonderful question. I know I get great you questions, are don't I? Yes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. that, I? <laughs> that's very important. Um, yeah, a lot of times I like to. I want the person to um, bring me what they have, yes. what they feel is the character. What they feel the character is, right? Yes. And then if you know if they may not, I don't know, deliver it a certain way, then I'll tell them, you know, maybe can you, you know, do it this way or I have a suggestion. Yes. But a lot of times I just want my actors to just be them, you know. Yeah. I don't just want just because I'm the producer don't mean I have to, you know, tell you how to be. Like this is where your art comes in. And is it, that I'm is so you. true. Even even looking at you as an actor, because I I used to act at one time and um, I did a lot of commercials. And commercial, I would walk. That's the girl. She's. Put, I wouldn't even. I mean, I wouldn't even audition for it. And I think, how do they know that this is just the look uh, of what they? Uh, uh, because people like you have exactly in their mind what they want. I'm not saying I got all, every single commercial. No, I did not. Right. But you know, this would happen because they know exactly. You walk in and you do something like you walk on a set and you do your part, and they say, "Perfect. They're exactly how I wanted and what I want." Yes. Well, that's that's the beauty of. It's, it's like a song and dance with everyone, from the director to the writers, yes. uh, to the producers, the other actors, actresses, in, in it. and of course night and day with commercial, commercial acting. Well, I mean, commercial is really, it's tough. <laughs> you're, I mean, you're selling products and stuff like yeah, that. Hopefully you know, you it's, <laughs> <selling> <laughs> it's very on the go, but um, with, with what uh, I'm pursuing in my style of acting, uh, you know, there is, there is a respect that you do bring to the writer's portion of it yes as well as the the director um but that's where the director and a good director will come in yeah. uh, and they'll they'll help you bring uh that their character vision, out of you their vision to yes. it uh, and because they don't want to keep you know auditioning people all the time they want to find them as soon as they possibly can find them right and sort of you know you've obviously put the word out there who you want how you want all this that and the other you know and indifferent yes um what difference do you find um, when a, a man walks in to, to, to audition for a part and a woman walks in to audition? What, what is the... Because women are like... Ooh, 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 ooh. Women, and, and men um, are like... Mm, yeah, that's <laughs> the, another great question. I personally... Ooh, we keep hitting it, don't we? <laughs> I, I personally enjoy women um, more. Um, not to be mean, but like women are way more confident, you know? Women, when they step into the room, you yeah, know, really? uh, yes, even though you may not come off as confident, like, you know, you have to be the most confident person in the room. Yes. Right? And because of that, I feel like women, they have more drive and yes. more desire, while a lot of men, um, they, um, I don't know, they just Are they not come true in. to being an actor or do they, do they feel that, that they're going to sort of fail and but the woman doesn't feel that she's going to fail? Yes, that's what I think. Yeah, that's um, not that. all men though. There's no, no. men that can just walk Nail into it. a room, yeah, you know, he doesn't really have to say anything. He just has, he's very charismatic, you know, yes, and it's yeah. like this the guy, like he's sure of himself, but he's not arrogant either. I do not hire arrogant people, you know, because that just throws the dynamic completely off, you of know. Course. We have a lot of learning to do, you yes. know, so people that are just um, charismatic, they're confident, um, 
and they're just willing to learn. And, and do they actually, And do, can you tell that they actually want to be an actor? Because there's a lot of people out there that says, oh, you know, I've got an extra part, I'm going to do this, and, you know, I'm, I don't have to learn my lines because I'm so good and I'm so good looking and I'm so great and I've got everything going for me, I don't have to learn anything. Right. You've got those too, right? Yeah, and men those, and women. I get those all the time, and those are not the ones that I have on my set. You get those all the time. I get. I, There's a lot of those when, out there. When I when I was doing auditions for this, I received over fifty submissions, and I saw like almost all of them, and a lot of them just felt like one person was like, "I shouldn't even have to audition because you know me." Like, you know, I was <laughs> I like, that, "Okay." You well, know? That, that's part of the vetting process. Is you know for the behemoth job of casting directors and, and of course you know uh, people that are producers the man the yes. man or woman of many hats right. absolutely so right. so you recognize all that but you you actually want to be an actor you're not fiddling around you no. you 100 percent want to be this is what i'm destined to do this is your destined to do and how long have you been doing it i saw the two and a half years two and a half <laughs> years so you're you're a late comer actually yeah, it, i believe i always say that it took a uh, took 38 years of life of an experience and things that I had to go through to realize that this is this what is I what you actually want to do. Amazing. And I what mean, about you? I well, I've always known that I've always been a film buff, and I've always been writing since I was a young child. Yeah. But um, I just got into acting myself only a year ago. So, oh wow. Yeah, and then once I got into acting, it my love. It was like having a child all over again. So you've had a ch you have a child. I have an eight year old. You have yes, an eight-year-old. Eight yes. Have any children? I have three. <laughs> and a stepdaughter. <laughs> three and a stepdaughter, so you have a second wife, or first wife. Second. How did I know that? <laughs> How to work it all out. The stepdaughters and the real daughters and, you know, because it's all so different now. You know, I often think about, you know, when you have a second wife or a third wife is, you know, you have to pay all this alimony. And for the, you know, I, I don't know how they work it. I, d I don't know how. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> I have a secret. Never get married. That's oh, my well secret. You, uh, did you get married? Never, no. Oh, you didn't get married? No, ne never will. And, and There's no need for marriage. I can love someone just as strong without marrying them, without having a piece of paper, without what about, all this. What, well, hang on a second. <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> what about kind of little principles of life of, you know, that, that we shouldn't live together? I mean, I'm not saying great. not to live together. I lived right. with my husband before I married him. But, um, but you're so definite not to get married. Yeah, we've been together <coughs> for 11 years. Why? You're still with him? Still with him. Oh, you see, it worked. It did. That's so maybe, why. well, this, this is probably your last marriage. I'm quite sure, he, <laughs> even if this one doesn't work, I'm quite sure you will not. Correct. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's to each to each their own. Right. I mean, if it works for them, it works right. for them. You yeah, know, two I, people yeah. want to get married. Right, because I've seen know. some very beautiful marriages, and then I've seen some very. I had a fabulous marriage. My oh, husband nice. died. I'm forty, passed away. But I had twenty nine years of the greatest marriage ever, Wonderful. for me. I mean. He had two wives before that, so I guess it wasn't so good for them. <laughs> I came along and <laughs> put up with whatever, whatever you're supposed to put up with. I'll do. I don't know. We just, you know, it's being compatible. Yes. And that is actually, you know, diverting from being married, being going into the film business because you have to actually communicate with all these people that you don't know. And like, you know, this could be your wife. So now you've got to be the husband to this woman that's not you have nothing to do with. Well, maybe I don't know. <laughs> I won't go there. <laughs> but true, right? True. You have to play those parts. Yes, ma'am. And you have to get into that part. Yeah. So, um, as a producer, how's everything going in Vegas for you? Is it good? Uh, it's good. I mean, this is my first production. You know, oh, so congratulations! Thank you cool? very much. I'm really excited. We're in post, and we're almost done. The coverage just came out. Okay. Um, the name of the movie again? The Junkie Warrior. The Junkie Warrior. Is, <laughs> he this is, a my horror, junkie is warrior. it a horror movie? No, ma'am. No. It is a thriller. It's a um, it's a, about a soldier who returns home from war. Um, mm -hmm. he has PTSD, and he is in a little bit of trouble. He uh, relies on certain types of vices that leads him into more trouble, and then he tries to find the love of his life to try and help him out. So it's like a romance thriller. Well, is this the part you play? Yes, ma'am. And then I'm the love of his life. Ooh. 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 I'm treading on very thin ice there. Well, she doesn't want to marry me. So. No, no. You don't want to marry no, 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 because you have a guy already. Yeah. Right, and he's like, married too. 
Yeah, well, that doesn't make any difference these days, whether you're married or not married, or whether you date them or not. I don't think that, in my right. time, it mattered, but I don't, I don't think that matters anymore. No, it I doesn't. think it's all out the window. <laughs> so the two of you have kind of pursued this, and now it's coming out. And yes. Are you thrilled with how you played the part, and do you feel that you did the part in the way that she wanted it? You know, it, at that point, it, it, if I feel like if they wanted something different, they would have said, said something. Oh, yeah, at that yeah. point. Absolutely. So, yeah. And for me, I bring it as much as I can, 100% each, each time. Now, so, do you read your lines every single morning to make sure you've got that whole day going? And, you know, I have you a whole process. <laughs> you have that, I, I gathered you did, because when you're a serious actor, you have a process. And you, you, uh, it's like a lot of the actors, they, we, they will read the script 10, 20, 30, 40 times before they even get onto the set. Do you do something like that sort of? That's the uh, British way of going about uh, British actors. <laughs> oh, I did not. Oh, my goodness. And okay. I actually, um, that's the same style that I approach to as well, to each each. Uh, I didn't script. know that was a British way, but that's... And the only it, reason we do that is to be familiarized with what actually is going on, and, and, and it becomes an everyday thing, because then you be kind of become that person. Yep. And then you start sort of, you know, acting. Yes. People, all your friends look at you like, what on earth is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Playing a yes. part. right. Yeah. yeah, some people are method actors. They don't leave that part. No, they don't. Done. <laughs> so how can anybody reach you or how can anybody get through to this movie? Uh, it's all yours. The camera's all yours. Uh, well, the uh, movie is going to be on Amazon. Uh, I'm trying mm -hmm. to get it on other streaming sources. Um, you can contact me on Instagram at K-A-Y-Y underscore Brown 91. Or you can just Google me at K Rock and Roll Brown and I pop up. K rock and roll brown pops up am. everywhere. Hey, <laughs> um, you pop up everywhere too. He Jere does. Jere Reed, right? I've got to get all these names right. I'm not really very good at names. I'm not very good at anything. I just sit here, and mouth goes. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but anyway, you've both been amazing. Good luck with both of Thank you. you so good much. luck Thank with your you. career. Good luck with your acting and your producing. Thank it's you. amazing when you see the younger generation coming up and they're producing and doing their own thing that we did not get that chance when we were younger in those days. But now we have all these incredible op uh, opportunities to go out there and just do it, and especially in Vegas. You've got every set you want in Vegas. So yes. Vegas is one of the greatest places to be. Um, thank you for watching. And don't forget, without you, nothing happens. I don't have a show unless you watch it, unless you see it. But also, I don't have anything unless you subscribe. So go to YouTube and subscribe, Vegas Live with Nina. We'll be back with our next guest. Take care. If you enjoyed the last show we just did and all the other shows, don't forget to subscribe, Vegas Live with Nina on YouTube. We've got plenty more coming up and our guests are amazing. So don't forget to subscribe. We'll be right back, Vegas Live with Nina.